as your website grows and becomes more complex, you might want to take advantage of some of the advanced features available in Akiva Backup to exclude some data from the backup itself. To begin with, let's look at the database tables exclusion. Here we can see listed all the tables that exist in the database. Now, not all of these might be related to our Joomla website. For example, here I had the database tables for PHP B site. Now, Akiba is very clever. If I click on this exclude non-core tables, it will go through the entire list of database tables and flag all the ones that are not part of this Joomla installation to be excluded from the backup. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. As you can see, all of the PHBB tables have now been flagged to be excluded from the backup. I can also see several tables that have also been marked in a slightly different way. These are some of the core tables for our website that are related to Finder tokens things, sessions. In this case, we do want to restore the database table, but we don't want to transfer the contents. So the field has been flagged here for do not back up its contents. If you want to see a list of all the tables that are going to be excluded, you can click on summary view. And here we can see them. If you want to make change one of the settings, you can click on the delete button to remove it from the exclusion. Now that we've excluded the database tables that are not related to this Joomla website, let's have a look at some of the files. If we go back to our control panel, we can see we have a files and directories exclusion as well. We can see that some folders have already been marked not to be backed up. These are the cache, the logs, the temp, as we would not want to transfer those across to a new site. Don't worry, when you restore your site from a backup, Akiba includes empty folders for these three. Now in this site, inside my images folder, I have several large folders. downloads and videos. They're pretty large and I don't actually want to include those on my backup as I've got a copy of them elsewhere. If I click on this icon here I can exclude all the videos. I can do the same for my downloads or I could just skip the subdirectories and keep the main one but I'm going to exclude the entire directory. Over here we can see I have one particularly large file which is a PDF which I also don't need to back up and I'm going to click on that icon there to exclude that individual file. Again we can see a list of all the files that we've set to be excluded by clicking on this icon. And you can see I've set it to exclude the directory images videos, images downloads and the file with that PDF in. I can now return to the control panel and perform a new backup and that will exclude those database tables that are not related to this Joomla website and those large images and videos directories which I decided I did not want to include.